About 70,000 years ago, a gigantic volcanic explosion changed the Earth's climate forever and gave way for the most majestic landscapes and fertile soils, which became the home and the birthplace of the ancient Batak people. Today, we'll be exploring Indonesia's Lake Toba. So welcome to Indonesia Beyond Bali. And we'll also get to see how some local folks saved my life. Freedom is all we fight for. So we've just arrived at the lakeside town of Parapat. From here, we will catch the ferry to Samosir Island, which is going to be my stop for tonight. We're gonna land at a place called Tomo and then I'm finally gonna get to my resting place for the night. Hey guys, this is our first day in Samosir Island and I pretty much chilled half of the day today because I really needed some time off from all the constant traveling. And as you can see, this is actually a great place to just chill out. So I spent most of the day today chilling and not doing anything, which has been nice. But now all of a sudden I have the urge to go for a drive and try to see some of the viewpoints that are here. I don't know if it's gonna be the best idea because it's starting to get a little cloudy, but let's see what we can do. Worst case, I'll put on my poncho. So the guys have fixed everything for me in two minutes and now they want to take a photo, which is awesome. <laughs> see, 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 see. Not sure if I am brave or dumb, but I have driven... <laughs> can't even describe the roads that I've driven on and uh, to get to this viewpoint I'm gonna have to turn around in about five minutes to drive back two hours in the dark not looking forward to it but the roads are for the most part pretty good so I think I should be okay but let's see if we can catch some last rays of sunshine here So, since the last time you saw me, there has been an interesting set of events. So, at Bukit Halburn, the viewpoint that I was at, it started pouring and the rain hasn't stopped even though it's been more than an hour. It's dark, the roads are windy and hilly and I don't know if I'll be able to drive back to Tuk Tuk to spend the night. But luckily, I ran into these guys who are camping here, they're all from Medan. Uh, and it seems like I'm going to be spending the night in their tent with them and watching the sunrise here on this corner of Samosir Island in Lake Toba. Hi. Hi. Wahyu, yes, Steven, Joseph, Nicolas, Dian, yeah. and Noah. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I got all their names right. <laughs> Life can be interesting sometimes. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
there's our tent where we stayed in last night and on the other hill on the opposite side of that hill is where the food place was where we crashed till it stopped raining So that over there is Samosi Island and I crossed that little bridge over there so I drove all the way from there all throughout these winding paths and right when I got there is when the rain started. What's up boys? <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. These guys that I just uh, camped with and I'm hiking up to the top now, they're all between uh, 16 to 18 years old. It's hard to keep up with them. Still absolutely blown away by the generosity of these boys. Uh, letting a complete stranger from a different country crash with them in their tent. That's something special. So about 70,000 years ago, the explosion that happened here is called a super volcanic explosion. Super volcanoes are not that common in the world. Another example of it would be the Yellowstone National Park in the States. And the explosion actually covered the entire earth in ash for about five to 10 years, which resulted in most of human life getting extinct. But as you can see, we were able to bounce back from it and repopulate the earth almost too well. We've all heard of the story of Mount Vesuvius and Pompeii. If you want to compare the magnitude of this explosion, it was probably about a thousand times bigger than Mount Vesuvius. So I just drove back two hours from Bukit Halburn. Now we are at the Batak Museum in Tomok. As I have said before, Lake Toba and Zmosir Island is actually the ancestral home of the Batak people. The Batak is a prominent tribe in all of Indonesia. The origins of the Batak people are from the Austronesian ethnic groups, which migrated to this part of the world from modern day Philippines and Taiwan. Um, and they went to Java and Borneo to get to Sumatra and then made Lake Toba their base. And they had their own distinct language. They're meant to be fierce warriors. And also they're meant to confront and uh, fight anyone who comes in their way. Bataks are still a very prominent figure in business and in politics in Indonesia. This tiny Batak museum hosts a lot of artifacts and history about the Batak people. So I'm here at the tomb of King Sida Buttar. This was a set of kings, uh, the first one being the first ever man as legend has it, to set foot on Samosir Island and Lake Toba, Bina Batak. Before you enter here, you have to wear an ulos, which is a traditional clothing for uh, from the Batak people. This is given to you for free and look good and walk around in it. Honestly speaking, the, the Batak Museum in Tomok and uh, the Old King's Tomb was a little bit underwhelming, um, but I'm sure that if we travel to enough places in Samosir, there are some really authentic relics of the Batak tribe. Uh, why it was interesting for me to check out is, you know, I've met a lot of Batak people all over Indonesia, and you know, this is where they all come from. This is their ancestral home, so I was really interested to come check it out. Um, you can see things are very, very distinct here. So, the day hasn't ended yet. It is almost 6 p.m and we're on our way from Parapa to a town called Tonging, which is on the northern side of the lake. One thing that I do have to mention about all of Lake Toba is um, it hasn't come off as the most solo backpacker friendly. By that what I mean is there's not enough public transport options available and also everything is really far away. You know, all the points of interest, they're about like a two hour drive from each other.
So right now I'm at this viewpoint of Lake Toba called One Tree Hill, which is part of a five-star luxury resort. Even if you don't stay here, you can come access this viewpoint, but you have to pay 120K IDR, which is about $8. Now, even though you have to pay so much to get in, the road up here is actually super shitty. So it took me about an hour to get here, even though the Google Maps drive said about 40 minutes. Now, is the view worth it? It's definitely up there. It's a pretty nice view, and I can see why this is one of the recommended spots. Now I'm gonna to go to my last planned destination, it's Piso Piso Waterfall. And we're here at Piso Piso Waterfall. Uh, there's a trail to go down there somewhere. Gotta go find it. So I've been going down now for about 20 minutes. I think if you come here, do come with some time. Don't rush it. Don't try to rush it like I'm trying to. Uh, and it's nice because now we're almost at the foot of the waterfall and we can, uh, I can feel the spray from the waterfall on, my, on me. If you like what you saw in that video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel or follow my Facebook page if you're on there as well. And no matter where you saw this video, make sure you click on the like button because it helps me out a lot. To follow my adventures real time, make sure you follow me on Instagram at SIFURBO. See you on the next one. Peace.